Alright, first off, I'm going to say praise to you, how about you, I'm going to say my cock with Ash, the blunders to the apostles of James and all your brothers in the highways and the byways doing the work of the most and sincerity and in short, I'm going to say shalom. Alright, this is a brother of war again with a little exhortation, you know, because all your brothers out there I got through a whole heap of stuff, you see, and I face a whole heap of tribulation, you see, so I'm just on the brother them for just hold on. Even though it, it seems like the most is not with you at the moment, hey, you have to face a little trial, you have to face a little tribulation because of that is going to make you better, that is going to make you firmer. <laughs> right? We have to go through a little fight, we have to go through a little um, tribulation, yeah? <laughs> so, nobody worry about, nobody worry or stress yourself about nothing at all upon this earth because all of this soon pass. Our, our, our winnings is just around the corner, yeah? Our, our time to rule this earth, our time to get joy, happiness and peace is just around the corner. We can't seek that right now on this earth. <laughs> because if you seek that right now on this earth, hey, yo, 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 this, this, this world don't have nothing to offer concerning that yet. <laughs> right? So our, our peace is just around the corner, our rest is just around the corner, so just endure whatever you're going through right now until Shiloh come, right? Which is not far from now, we are at the end, we are in the last days of the last days, yeah? Alright, first I'm starting off with this scripture in Ecclesiastes 2 verse 1, It's my son if them, if thou come to serve the Lord, Prepare thy soul for temptation, set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not ace in time of trouble. <laughs> Cleave unto him, that is very important because I cannot depart from him yet, because he's the only protection, he's the only saviour, he's the only deliverer, and whatever is brought upon you, he did it. Whether it want to be a test or whether it want to be some form of punishment, and whatever punishment you are going through, you have to just hold that. Until the punishment is finished. Because whatever punishment we are going through, we are getting from the from Yahweh Bashim Yashai, we are deserving of it yet. Yeah? As the scripture said, I will bear the ignition of the Lord because I have sinned against him. Right? But even in your um punishment and tribulation, the most I still have mercy upon you. So you have to just hold firm and do what is right. Alright, it's a cleave unto him and depart not away that do me may be increased at the last end whoso whatsoever is brought upon thee take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate for gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity believe in him and he will help thee order that we are right and trust in him he that fear the lord wait for his mercy and go not aside lest he fall ye that fear the lord believe him and your reward shall not fail. Right? So, yeah, you have to believe, constantly believe eh, that he's going to deliver you or he's going to help you with whatever situation that you're going through. Right? And while you're living in this world, you have to know that, hey, look, if you walk the way, the path of Yahweh Bashim Yashai, hey, you might go, you might go, you might go constantly help you. Yeah? Right, it, because him can either lessen it, him can make the, the punishment more worse than it is, him can lessen the punishment, see, and him can deliver to that completely. Right, next scripture, <laughs> your brothers all, always bear this scripture in mind. Yeah? This is one of my favorite scripture. <laughs> Proverbs. Verse 21. It said, There shall no evil happen to the just, but the wicked shall be filled with mischief. So, from a writing at the sight of Yahweh Bashim Yashai, hey, no evil can come upon you yet. Whether it won't be uh, somebody try to kill you, whether it won't be fight from work, whether it won't be problem with a woman, whatever problem, whatever mis- mis- up, whatever evil want to come upon you, hey. <laughs> That not going to happen from your right with your Hawa, Bashem, your Shai. 
right? Because my God always did a few. And him tell her that. And God is not a man that he should lie, as the scripture say. Right? Next scripture is um, Hebrews. So, okay. <laughs> Hebrews 13, verse 5. It's a let your conversation in a way of life. A conversation is a way of life. Be without covetousness and be content with such things as you have. So even if some man are real deep, some man are real rich, they drive the best, the latest car, you don't really have nothing, right? Hey, sometimes you're in a more peace than, than those men, yeah? Sometimes you as a poor man, when I have nothing, you don't have debt. You see, you don't have food. If you have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, even if you just have one meal a day, from that can sustain your belly, can full. The scripture says you have to be content. Because guess what? In the end of the day, you don't know, have them things, you know, you, know, you have peace of mind. Yeah? The only stress you have when you worry about them something that envy. Right? So, the scripture says it again. Let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things as he have. For he had said, I will not leave thee nor forsake thee. Hey, you have to believe that. If him say, I'm not going to leave you nor forsake you, you have to believe that. Yeah? You have to believe every word. Right? As I said, the Lord is not a man that he should lie. I will cancel that enough here. Yeah? We have to believe that. Next scripture. Is Matthew 6 and 25. Matthew 6 verse 25. It said, Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life. What ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body that ye shall put on, is not the life more than meat, and the body than raiment? Behold the fowls of the hair, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than, than they? It's a which of you? By taking thought can add one cubit unto his stature. And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lizard lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. Yet I say unto you that Solomon, that even Solomon in all his glory was not a ray like one of these. Wherefore, if Yahweh so clothed the grass of the field, which is today, is and tomorrow, is cast into the oven, shall not eat, not much 